Mindy Show on Kids Place Live. Good morning, Tori. Good morning, Mindy. What's shaking, Bacon? Mindy, it's never a dull day in quarantine when you have a dog. Oh, boy, what did Nala do this time? <sighs> do you remember maybe six months ago I told you the story of how she pulled a rotisserie chicken out of the trash and ate the whole thing? Tori, that is my favorite Nala story ever, and I will never forget it as long as I live. Well, we've got a new story for second place. What is it? Yesterday, I was sitting at the kitchen table eating my dinner, and I decided I had wanted to treat myself, so I ordered some pizza and chicken wings. And then I, as I'm eating, I remember, oh no, tomorrow is trash day. I better take out the trash before I forget. I'll just do it right now. I go outside for two minutes to take the trash cans to the curb. And when I come back, my plate is on the floor. And Nala ate five buffalo chicken wings whole. <gasps> what? Wait, what do you mean whole? The bones As in too? The bones and everything. <gasps> no. So no. So here's the deal before anybody freaks out. I'm freaking out. Don't freak out. This has happened before, so luckily I have experience with this. I really panicked the first time. And when I called the vet the first time that she ate chicken bones, because you always hear that's a horrible thing for dogs, and it is. It's not good. But a licensed veterinarian told me that a small dog will chomp up the chicken bones into tiny little pieces. So it's actually probably going to be fine. Because they can, then they just swallow it, and their stomach digests it, and it comes out the other end. So, wow. this time, I'm trying not to panic. I'm just keeping an eye on her. And besides some stinky farts, she's been perfectly fine. She ate bones! Wait a minute. Why is it that, that a dog will eat a chicken bone, but when you give them a bone to gnaw on, they don't eat those bones? Or do they? It's a different type of bone. So, if you give a dog, like, a big... The, the type of bones that you're picturing a dog kind of gnawing on are big and thick, right? right? They maybe are like pork or beef bones. But chicken bones are really brittle and thin, the way all bird bones are. So it's really easy for them to just chomp them up and break them up into little bits, whereas they can't do that with big bones. And you know what? Now that I think about it, to be fair, there are other cultures where even humans eat the whole would eat would do the what Nala did. They would eat the entire chicken wing. They would eat the entire chicken bones and all. I wouldn't recommend it if this is not I, for anybody listening right now. I wouldn't recommend it. That's for uh, for people who know what they're doing. But yeah, there are other cultures where people will eat the whole bone. It's finger looking good. There we go, Nala. Wow. Uh, so yesterday I told you how. Uh, Rhett made, took a cardboard box and made a maze for his hedgehog band-aid and in the maze he, he strategically placed little bits of dry cat food guess yeah. who he found Yeah, you said, I was really surprised I actually should have brought this up yesterday when you said that I didn't realize that you feed your hedgehog cat food oh yeah Yep. just like dry cat food. cat food dry cat food and Rhett will also make band-aid scrambled eggs band-aid enjoys scrambled eggs some hedgehogs Classy. like lettuce. Band-Aid's not a big fan of lettuce. And mealworms are a treat. Yeah. Live mealworms. But anyway, we found uh, we found our cat, Moosey, in the, the, <gasps> the, the, the whatever, not hamster. What is Hedgehog it maze? Hedgehog maze. We found our cat in the, squished in the hedgehog maze, eating the cat food out of it. But she I couldn't mean, fit under any of the little if, arches or <laughs> secret passage tunnels. I was going to say, what do you expect? You put her food in this enticing-looking maze? What do you think she's going to do? She ate it. Animals Oof. behaving badly. If you are listening right now and you're a family with an animal behaving badly story for us, we can't have you call us up yet. We're working on it. But in the meantime, you can always write in your stories to us on our Absolutely Mindy Post Show Parent Club page on Facebook. Just do a search for Absolutely Mindy Post Show Parent Club. We'll accept you to the group, and then you can tell us your story there and share it with others. We'll be right back. It's the Absolutely Mindy Show on Kids Place Live.